Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the last tutorial we'll set up a basic profile page and a basic configuration for Mega Deals UK uh, which is this website here. But we set it up for Twitter. In this tutorial we want to add a logo, our branding to the profile and we also want to see how we add a background image. Now at the moment you're looking at home when you look at home anyone that you're following so i'm not following anyone at the moment but any people that you follow you'll see their tweets listed here um, so there's no one at the moment but what we can do is click on this little picture icon here and go to profile here so when we go to profile we're actually looking at our main page you could say now so this is where we'll see our own tweets and i'm going to show you how to do tweets a little later in the next tutorials uh, but for now we want to add an image here and a background so we need to know what size this image should be in this in this uh, in this circle and to do that we'll just go to Google and we'll type in Twitter profile picture size and it's telling us it should be 400 by 400 pixels okay so I'm gonna use Adobe fireworks you can use any image image editing software that you like but I'm going to use uh, Adobe Fireworks or you can ask your graphic designer to do this. So I need to create an image which is 400 by 400 pixels. So this is the size I need. And I need the logo. So I need the Mega Deals logo. So I have a copy of that. And I'm going to drag and drop that uh, into a new window. And here we can see the logo. So I just, I just want to take the MD part. We can see the full logo here. But I just want the MD part this bit here to be a part of the uh, Twitter profile image so I'm going to select it and copy it and I'll paste it here and then it's going to need to be resized so let's just resize that and normally when you do this logo you don't want it too close to the edges so you want it something you know it could be a little bit bigger than that something like this And what we can do is just so on the logo you can see there's um, some white areas at the bottom and top here so we'll just fill those white spaces in so that's what our profile logo will look like so we need to save this now so I'm going to save it as a PNG file um, so when you go to optimize here I want to select PNG or you can save it as a JPEG either one will do and we want to go to here and we want to name this correctly so we're going to call it Twitter logo and the first version of it so let's save that just save it as a PNG file and then we can click here and we can say upload image and we'll find that image now let's test it out so it's asking me to crop it and it's, it's exactly the perfect size so we don't need to really do anything to it 400 by 400 is perfectly fine so let's try that out So when we're looking at that logo, let's just save it. We can say it's a bit close to this edge here, you can see. So we probably need to shift it to the right a little bit. Um, so let's do that now. So we take the logo. And we'll move it to the right a bit and save it one more time. And we'll go to edit profile here, change the photo, upload a new one, and let's try it one more time. And save it. So I think that's okay. That should be fine. So that's the logo done, and then we get an option to upload a background here. Add a header photo. So I'm just going to show you a basic example of that. Uh, what we'll do... 
You just need to find the actual correct background size. So we need to make an image which is 1500 by 500 pixels. This size here. And then we can take any background image that we like and put that into the background for the Twitter page. So I'm just going to use an example for now. I wouldn't say it's 100% correct, but just to give you an example of how that's done, I'm just going to try and find a suitable image. So let's look for some images. So maybe something like this, or we'll use this one for now. So I'll probably change this picture, but just as an example, I'm going to save it as background. Twitter background. And we can go back to Twitter. And just to show you, I clicked edit profile and then add header photo, upload, and then we'll select that image. And here you can see it in the background. You can zoom in and out if you like, but we'll just apply it for now. Have to wait a few seconds for it to save. And then click save changes. So we've got our background image. Mega Deals is about finding good deals in shops. So you can see on the website, there's all these offers of all these different types of categories, the phones or whatever it might be. So it'd be nice to have some sort of high street picture or something like that. But we may change this later. So we, in this tutorial, we added the logo and we made it the correct size. And that was 400 by 400. And in the background image, to make it the exact correct size, will be 1500 wide by 500 high. In the next tutorial, we'll start to add some more details to the Twitter profile. So we'll add a bio and maybe change the background or these, these button colours, we can change them as well. So we can do some other edits. And maybe I'll prepare a different background image so we can add that in the next tutorial. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Web tutorial.